Welcome back. Good morning, incredible now. We're just about to get into our interest on MC. We are back never before. High school, Nini, you learn some, some piece you off, but now in your adult years, those things, I'm at those you know, in high school, everybody has a different experience of high school. He us. Back to your high school. Anyways. Currently. If. How would you, how would you take it? I don't know how I'll take it, but the Okay, it's good. My co
as I progress through didn't apply for me because it's Today, so students, so yeah. that kind of gained me respect. You know, being a intimidated, intimidated because I was saying, I, I did not to show find a point where they could. Because you know, Joe, nearly so, but that school kind of made me to be hard. The past, for that school, I don't believe okay. I would be the same person because, in as much as the conditions were not that uh, appealing to me, or sometimes because I remember the first two years was met with me being in and out of hospitals because of the, of the weather and all that stuff, even Trying the teachers. Adjust, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So big shout to your Paul's, school, which is would Saint you like Paul's to mention Denga, it? Saint Paul's Denga Secondary School in Ugenesia County. Wow. Yes. Idinade. Mm -hmm. Mine was terrible. So, if I had a chance of going back to high school, I will not go because I will drop out of school. I think that's what can happen right now because uh, when I was in high school, I struggled to, like my hope was to, will I one day complete this journey? Right. Yeah, so going back, so going back to high school, to me, I cannot go back because uh, that is like going back to my journey to drop off from school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and <coughs> you know, I'm still, I'm still digesting. You went through seven high schools. Nini lifanya bro kafikia uka ya kwanza, ya pili, ya tatu, ya nne. Kwanza. Um, I find myself in the street uh, when I was around uh, five years. You see, you you come to know who you are, uh, how you you are when you are at a certain age. Right. So you see, I grew up in the street. That is Kisi. No one knew about that because uh, I'm someone who always don't display the problems I'm going through. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So, <laughs> so when I was. Um, when you uh, primary, I think Sijafanya class one, class two, Sijafanya up to class three. I did class five. Um, I jumped to class seven. Uh, then now, jump. because of uh, when I was in the street, I was working as a mechanic. Yeah, oh, we were oh. in a group of um, kids. Yeah, right. Uh, you see, when you are a street kid, just there's nothing different with the street kid who is in Kisi and the street yeah. kid who is in. Nairobi. Nairobi. The same thing the where they use the marijuana, they use the the gum, the bang. Yeah. Right. So everything is just the same. They're that kind of living. Life, yeah. yeah. So it's I don't know. I, I think it is just God. I can say myself like that because uh, I didn't find myself using all that. Though I participated um, in the morning or night when people mamamboga wa metoka sayo. Asi umeenda, umeaslu, umetengeneza hizo magari. Alafu, employer na kuambia, anakupatia 50 bob for lunch. But you see, you, they, are, they are using your skill to, they are using your skill to, 
to gain what they want yeah yeah, yeah so just on my own with my thoughts and uh, I find someone. I'm. A, I was always a person. I. Yeah, kid. Darajambili. Kausiko. Sorry for another day, but I don't tunalala kwa hizo magari tunatengeneza maybe mm. suna so tambo iko stuck but tunaingia hapo tunalala so so 50 bob fine mm. kama tukupatiwa ni hivyo so is up to look for survivor this design ya get cause na your street ni harsh manzi the simple as unaweza chezea na kupata food tu sema vile umesema 50 bob in a day maybe hiyo siku hakuna ulikuwa unapataje food i remember um, uh, reason why uh, i was once in one group aha uh-huh. ikifika jioni they go to au mali wanaozomena mboga kwa mm-hmm. wamama Mm-hmm. So I remember one day there's a guy we were going as a group ile kwa around 11 around 1. Okay. You see town kila mtu anatembea hivyo hivyo. Mm-hmm. So ilifika hiyo time there's a guy tulikuwa nayo u mama alitoka kununua mchele uh, unga na alikuwa na nyama. So this guy akaenda ka snatch hiyo bag. Na venye ali snatch hivi kumbe kulikuwa na lorry ile za zile za 12 izili ziko na gurudumu 12 yeah, yeah, yeah. na kuja mbio kutoka you see dara, um, kisi town inakuja yeah. hii 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 mteremko inaenda daraja mbili right. so venye ali snatch hivi kwenda kukimbia gari ikakuja ikakanyaga ikakaa kama chapati so from then i think i was not involved in such thing nikilala njani sawa hapo ndo ile reform yeah nikilala njani sawa yeah. but drugs i didn't use drug at all uh-huh. Sasa so, uh, apo ulikuwa form not form ulikuwa bado primary was in yet. class 8 this class 8 eh yeah. so i was going to school uh-huh. during the day because i had not uh, kulikuwa nga primary kulu, tuko na vitu wanasema zile primary za village eh? daraja mbili is kind of village right. yeah it is not town that mm. too much so uh-huh. pale tuko na siji pesa ya walimu Right. So I w- I was not paying that I didn't have that so yeah. on a part of day time you don't attend classes right so the only thing you can do you have friends le wale fundisha nini waze wale fundisha side notes zako right so the only thing you do or you are trying to do that please nipate hii 1500 kitambo ilikuwa 1500 enrollment fee uh-huh. nipate hii 1500 yani ya final exam ama national exam case cp yeah, yeah. So hiyo ndio nilikuwa natafuta that was my major by then. Okay. So unatafuta hii ukishatafuta nilitafuta ikapi I think this um, I can remember that guy still alikuwa anaitwa Jose he was uh, he was my mentor in mechanics. So mm-hmm. this is a day tulifanya deal this a engine the the engine plus the gearbox ilifaa kutoka Uganda alafu tunaweka kwa gari. Right. So ilikuja hii deal ilienda akapatiwa 50k akakuja kanipatia 3000 so nikapata hiyo pesa nikaenda nikalipa nika enroll okay ya benye ni enroll siku perform poa nilipata 255 marks okay so later um, na section of school always uh, when i wanted to go to school what came to my mind first nitalipa hii fiaje ndio niko na ile hamu ya kuenda those big school those national schools but sasa okay. max pia yangu yes so when the uh, but now the high school part to say my chemolen olen roll from one cuz cuz i believe kuna kwa ngana ile culture shock ya yeah. we join tv high school yako ilikuwa boarding ama ilikuwa primary in your olen roll first i went to uh, secondary uh, the day school so ilikuwa day school nikaenda yeah. form 1 
yeah. nika drop third term okay sikufanya okay so nikaenda nikaingenda shule nyingine so. nikaenda form 2 form 2 okay. nikafanya hapo nikamaliza yeah. so later nikapata yeah. we just see the same okay akaniambia bro you need to go to school nime ona potential yeah. so nikaenda nika enroll migori boys Okay. Now uh, yeah. Julenda Seven High Schools uh, I not wezi pitia bro story yote. Yeah. Na zataka tu zile uh, zile uh, experiences zile ku share zenye unazosema because hizi kwa University of Nairobi bro it's a very big achievement na unasomea political yeah. uh, uh, science na pia and you utaku economist as well. Zile experiences zenye zile ku share zika kufanya vile uko hivi ni kama gani zenye ungesema hili ni change hadi meni kama adult ama msini nimekuwa mkubwa easy na easy what change me in, in high school i didn't have any hardship okay because uh, when i went to migori boys i was elected i was appointed librarian okay by the deputy so in high school there was no any challenge the only challenge i had is that uh, ukenda ku serve mazi unakutana watu bigi alafu uh. wewe uko hivi so uh. lazima utangoje watu malize ku serve right. so ukimiss ni hivyo Leo. So it's your pocket. It's your pocket. Yeah. So, <laughs> so in short il il be the pure survive some sort. Eh una survive you yeah. struggle yet lakini right. eti yeah. niseme eti high school ilikuwa na struggle nikisoma no. Right. Nilipenda vitabu. You will find a vitab. Yeah. Nice and I love the fact that you go University of Nairobi which is a big achievement. Yeah. Let me throw it back to you Elvis. Kulo kwa na peer pressure manze ya kufitin and you mentioned you are a Nairobian. Kuna kwa ngana ile for sa, kulu, uh, yeah. same same to mind. Wale wasi walikuwa wanatoka Kanairo manze ndio walikuwa ngama bad boy. Okay. As in when you walikuwa unasema mm-hmm. <laughs> kwa mta. So, How was your experience for you? So first of all in my school Nairobian were known as failures. Walikuwa ma failures. How do you know in our school you had this uh, routine where whenever we released results we had top 10 and bottom 10. So right. for top 10 the oh, top 10 uh, what I'm telling you will be given gates but for the bottom 10 we had like an academic forest yeah. where there was a certain place that was like a kind of hill so yeah. once you are like a bottom 10 ulikuwa na kiti pale so Nairobian so ingekuwa angekuwa kwa that group that shows go as far as pinpointing uyu kwanza uyu uyu ni wa kibera ama uyu wa kawangware something like that so There was that thing of uh, being in discipline in discipline cases from people from Nairobi no yeah. performers you know alafu wale wenye wanajisha show you know Nairobians pia ni wale walikuwa mejeka certain class any they think right. they're better than others so yeah. me when i entered school i think also for me uh, in my primary i think one thing that really made me to go to that school was that the fact that i i didn't perform as i expected in primary so yeah. that was like my first result so that if i perform well i call uh, along the my high school I would be taken to a better school so okay. mini king hapo ilikuwa man i have to work hard and perform so that i can get myself out of this school but mushoe i still was there so for me ni nika veni ninge yo shule those peer pressure of uh, trying people on a journey i hope you on a journey the european but when you are jeka is like uh, unataka ku join your better so unajua the fact that i was not willing to like maybe uh, nini conduct myself the way they did Right. they saw that me and I'm better than them no yeah. so there was that thing of uh, people feeling that i have uh, maybe the one thing at all in shaya more i've never tried to fit in you never i've never <laughs> like because fitting in is not i think true that's story. a lot yeah. of pressure on me that's a lot of struggle why would i right. try to be someone i'm not no yeah. and like i think i let some flock because it did it did uh-huh. because being my authentic self was kind of intimidating to some people because they yeah. expected me to fold to what they wanted me to like maybe be yeah. but i wasn't willing to do that because my main agenda in that school was to make sure i make it because you know, Jota, while i was getting into high school total let, let me be totally honest uh, i thought i was going to be a failure wow i thought i was going to be a failure because i remember i failed there was option of repeating but i didn't so i went to school but i was the last from one to be admitted right. in that school in first term because i remember the when i entered there were two weeks to the end term exams so right. you can imagine uh-huh. entering into a new school everyone is a uh, shock catch up to the nini syllabus you're way behind so right. you don't have a, a like a direction I time, man. yeah you know yeah. even the people you're with in class they think wamekuacha na mbali you know right. so there's also your thing ya kufikiri your failure but once i got to school i was like as i said a bit too me i have to like really do what has to be done to right. make sure i don't live to what i thought i would be and that's a failure right. so for me nikinge you know that school was a mixed school let oh, me just put that school. it was yes. a mixed school and there was that pressure 
relationship. We are also supposed to discuss about relationship. Relationship. Two, 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 two. Yeah. Because when you happen to adolescence, you make it in I'm telling you. Especially because from two months, the V2 is going to move from zero to a hundred. I'm really glad I went to a mixed school. Because right. every time yeah. we went for funkies, the yeah. way I saw boys conduct themselves, I don't blame How's them. How's the funkies, by the way? Is it my outing, sir? Amazing. I will yeah. tell you, I went to majority of funkies because I was the type of person I didn't like to miss out. Okay. Yeah, so I, any time, any opportunity to go out, I will be right. the first. I need to make sure me me is all drama because club because I know a lot of people who are in art and drama club. Kuna yeah. venyo kona Dundee's events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I don't get missed. Kwa ulko top of the list. Miss. Especially yeah. with music festival, I never missed even once. Uh huh. So these are the ones I need to all through. Then also with the YCS, the youth, whatever. For yeah. Catholics, even I used for to CU go. Yeah, for CU, but I was right. a Catholic, so I used to go for all of those. Right. Then there was the, these academic trips, and you know, up and up. Right. I love Is it my symposium? Yeah, and I used to go for those. So, uh -huh. it's only little like sana because sometimes school, I wouldn't say, me, like, I'm to a kilam to an adjua. School was not always at the amazing. Right. You know, yeah. sometimes, this is the funniest thing, and I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry to say this on air, but I remember, yeah, kuna time our school was like, it was so hard until what one gets kia funun ya fukuzwa fees. I'm right. telling you, people would pray, Aki God, I hope tomorrow, ni fukuzwa ni in their home. Because but why? But then, ni ko inafanya? Is it because ni food ni ndeliko ambaya? Uh, for, for my school. Life was unbearable. Because uh, mixed, it was boarding or day yeah, It school? was boarding, both bo boarding, boarding and, and day school. So, okay. yeah, it was both boarding, but me, I opted to like just board because the day school was kind of, I saw my fellow members who were like uh, doing in day school and it was kind of difficult for them. And you know, from, from where the school was and where my, my home was, it was kind of a bit of a distance. So I could not right. manage every day in the morning. So I was boarding. I would say the school wasn't, but you know, it was not uh, like I told you, it was my niche school. So kind of, right. Uh, some of the resources were scarce, but it was still manageable. So I would say some maybe uh, the conditions there were a bit tough. You know, I love to be there. Me, yeah. if I hear people, I hear even sometimes I hear my sister went to a national school, like in NBA, the kind of that they were, they they were, they were, cool. I was like, hey. Special food. Um, yeah. So you remember I told you like uh, my first uh, from one and from two I was a bit sick. So okay. through that that process I was diagnosed with ulcers. So okay. I remember in our school we had a special diet. Let yeah. me call it special yeah, diet for people you. who had ulcers. So <laughs> I can you know you should to the diet was me if I tell you the the diet it was a. Hey, Where's your mini? And it was in the diet. We not even in the shift. Ugali <laughs> Maragwe. You remember, there, was, there were times you used to, I usually, when I tell people, they usually think I'm, I'm actually You're doing lying. comedy. Mm -hmm. But I remember in the a scorching sun at lunchtime, right. the diet was, you're supposed to take gideri and right. hot porridge. Gideri and hot porridge? You only food your lunch? That's lunch. And gideri wow. was like the norm. Ugali, Ma, Ugali Maragwe was the, also the norm. So, me, I, from when I was diagnosed with ulcers, Gideri, Kando, Marago, because now I was, I was not allowed, and Skuma also, I was not allowed to take acidic food. Right. So now the diet was cabbage. Mm, My friend, if yeah. you can call me a, a, a <laughs> rabbit, you, I, I deserve that yeah, because well, I ate those you are, cabbage. You're a senior counsel ah, in the kingdom. I ate those cabbage. <laughs> but you survived and look I at survived. you. You're here, man. I survived, I survived. And you know, those moments, though, in any I mean, funza, you know, right. especially with the life, you know, you are, there are always those moments whereby not everything in Akuja too easily. Right, so yeah. I think with those moments, even when I look back, in Patia, the, the, the virtue of persevering yeah. throughout yeah. Uh, difficult times in life, you know, yeah. because it was about food. Yes, it was right. kind of like, ah, this was not something I wanted to do. But when I kind of look at it in, my, in a life's perspective, right. time it you will not have everything the way you're used to. Right. So it kind of shakes me change. too. Yeah, you know, things from change. Good to bad, you have to bad persevere. To yeah, yes, vice there's vice always mountains and valleys. So, right, yeah. that aspect of persevering through sometimes hardship, and uh, I think that's aspect one aspect that really shaped me, and also discipline in that school. Discipline. You know, schools yeah. in Nyanza. You know, when I went there, the, the kind of discipline. Hey, it's quite. Viboko mko mna pigo ko pigo. That was viboko ata mko mna. Even performance wise. Yeah. And on that note, how did you deal with Oli Moenya? Before I come to you, Daniel, you'll also answer the same question. Oli and and also for you Elvis how did you deal with teachers who are so harsh they don't want you to get below 70 percent it's physics the pass max is 75 uh -huh. if you don't get that you know at first I I kind of I, I was like I hated that I hated those type of teachers but towards my form four look like I love you but I love form you four because now.
always try to make friends with them. Okay. When I find you are very harsh, yeah. I always because everyone has got a weakness. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I always look who, you, your weakness. Uh-huh. And, uh, no, I think I was never fond on indiscipline. But okay. Yeah. See, sit okay. I had my bad side and my bad side is that um, when I was when those p- teachers were very harsh once i'm offended na kuanga kichwa ngumu so <laughs> that's why kwa sababu mzee unapata mlima na kuweka na kuchapa vikoko kama sita yeah. nalisema kumi. Yeah. tena anacha, anakuchapa na it doesn't care kwa... at some point <laughs> Yeah. self to be guided that beats
okay. could be a hard call, yeah. This Uh, for your time. At Y254 channel, you can find me. You can plug in your Y in the morning. You're an amazing Monday.